Hello. Hey, it's day two of my pop-up Stampin' Up! in Sipology event. So here we are. So today's product, I always like to start with Stampin' Up! because I love Stampin' Up! is this picturesque stamp set, which is a photopolymer. So photopolymers, let me show you. Let me open it up. They look like this. They're clear, guys. I've used these a little, so I haven't used them too much yet. And you actually don't need adhesive. They peel off really easily. They attach super easy onto a clear block. And away we go. This is a typical paper pumpkin block, but we got better ones than these. I just, I have a whole bunch of these. So these are fun to use. I love photopolymers. And here is a card I made recently with that stamp set with the trees and the birds and the phrase, difficult roads bring you beautiful destinations. And I did two inks for the trees. So I think it was soft suede and then early espresso, I think. I can't remember the colors, but I believe the soft suede is retiring. I, I could be wrong. I can't remember all the colors. We have so many great colors. It's hard to keep up on what's what. So this is really nice. Even just as a fun little, you know, do up a quick project with this stamp set. And there's other phrases on here too. So we have love knows no boundaries. Hello, just because, press on. And then difficult roads bring you to beautiful destinations. So it's a great stamp set. Part of being a demo actually. Um, I received this as part of a challenge that I did with Stampin' Up! Corporate. So to kind of give a bit of the story, because I've talked about this before. Uh, back in November 2022, uh, the Demonstrator Development Manager, which her business card is literally on my desk here for Canada, she was hosting a training session on product-based classes. So essentially trying to educate demonstrators on create a product-based class featuring a stamp set with the hopes that the people would buy the stamp set. So I've dabbled this into a little, it's not my main focus, but I am experimenting with this but because I did the challenges and I completed the challenge and I had one person actually buy a stamp set, which is awesome. Uh, she sent this out as a, hey, thank you for attempting. Thank you for doing the challenge. And of course the feedback is, you know, there's room for improvement. <laughs> of course there is. Anyway, oh, my hair is all wet after a shower, but it's okay. So this is really nice. And I really enjoyed just making this quick and simple card using some decorative paper that I had here, designer series paper, which we'll cover that another day because I love this paper. I've used it so much. All right, so that's the Stampin' Up! plug. The tea time plug is we're going to have a black tea. We're going to talk about my all-time absolute tea I use every day. English breakfast. I just opened this pack today, which I'm so happy about because I love this tea. Essentially, it's English breakfast, black tea. It's a great tea. One teaspoon. I do three minutes because I like it the way it is. And according to this, I can brew it one time. Yeah, you can maybe do two times with uh, a two minute and then you make the second one a little longer. And nutritional facts is pretty darn good. But then again, I, I put sugar in mine. That's the way I am. And then if you can see on the front, this picture is what it looks like, which I know is doing no justice on camera, of course. So let's see if I can open her up and not knock it over my laptop because that would be a bad, bad thing. Da, 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 da. I just don't want to spill my laptop. So yeah, that's the leaves. Da, 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 da. So very nice black tea and very nice leaves. They look cool. I, I love black. I love this black tea. So how I got into tea originally, let me do a little storytelling here, is, you know, the, the classic regular orange Pico tea bags. You know, my family's always has that, and they always steep it so long. And then I got into tea. I like tea, but I found with black tea, I had to put in, like, cream or milk or something with the sugar to make it look a little better. I never really understood the... Don't follow the tea bag and start. If they say three to five minutes, it really does not need to be three to five minutes for me. For the regular tea bags, I do one minute and I get a color that's a little darker than this guy, but it works well. This is a three minute steeping with this English breakfast, and I love it. And I, that's what I had to learn is get to know the tea, get to know what level do I want it to be at, then it's oversteep for me. 
So that was a huge educational. And when I got into Cephology, it was like, wow, this tea is so much better. It's still really hot and it tastes really good. It's my favorite tea. It is my favorite tea. Like, I know Cephology has so many different teas, but this is the one for me. I just love it. Oh, it tastes so good right now. So, yeah. And this bag of 75 grams, this will last me a couple months. Having this daily. Like, it's amazing. I just have, like, one of these a day. One teaspoon away we go. Alrighty. So, that is the plug of the day. We got awesome curd making. We got really cool photopolymer stance. We got really cool tea. And away we go. Alrighty. Any questions, please let me know. I would love to help you out. I would love to get you in touch with your favorite tea, whether it's this or something else that's just as good. <laughs> I'd love to get you crafting because this is really cool. This is fun. And yeah. Alrighty. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.